Hello everyone! Today we are going to tackle a fascinating topic, the Arc de Triomphe. Over the centuries, it has managed to distinguish itself from other monuments and to become one of the most emblematic French buildings. What are the reasons of its construction? What characterizes it? We will see together all the answers to the question about the Arc de Triomphe. The Arc de Triomphe de l'Étoile, or more commonly known as the Arc de Triomphe, saw its construction begins in 1806 and ended 30 years later in 1836. With its important dimensions of 50 meters high, 45 meters long, and 22 meters wide, the architect Jean-François Chalgrin was inspired by ancient art to create this monument. To better understand this monument, we have to understand his architect. So who was this architect? Jean-François Chalgrin is a French architect, born in Paris in 1739, representing mainly neoclassicism, which developed under the reign of Louis XVI, otherwise called Greek or Doric architecture. His success came during his stay in Rome between 1759 and 1763, when he won the Grand Prix de Rome and was taught by Telvandoni, Franco-Italian painter, architect and decorator. In 1799, Chagrin was elected to the Académie des Beaux-Arts and became a member of the Council for Civil Buildings in Paris. It was in 1806 that Napoleon I commissioned him to build a monument to the glory of the Grand Army, the Arc de Triomphe. Sadly, Chagrin died shortly after the construction began. The project was therefore taken up by Louis Robert Gust and Mercier. Quiz time! In your opinion, how many assassination attempts has the Arc de Triomphe suffered? Answer A, 1. Answer B, 2. Answer C, 4 or answer D, 7. We will see the answer at the end at the end of this video. Let's go into the details of what the scenes and the engraving writings represent. The arc is made up of engraving depicting battles, including 158 engraved names of battles that were fought by the Republic and the Empire between 17 93 and 1814. 96 names are located on the interior faces of the large arches, i.e. 24 on each of the four pillars, 32 on the interior sides, i.e. 8 on each of the four pillars and finally the last 30 representing the biggest battles. The main feature of the Arc de Triomphe that you may have already noticed is that of the eternal flame. The latter commemorates all the soldiers who died in the fighting. From 1920 to today, more than a century of activity to remember all of the victims of wars and which is rekindled every day at 6.30 p.m. In addition, the Ark houses the tomb of the unknown soldier who died in the World War I. There is in all and for all four Arc de Triomphe. Yes, yes, you've heard four. And all located in Paris, each with its own history. We have the first one, the most famous and the one we have just mentioned, the Arc de Triomphe de l'Etoile. The second, the Arc de Triomphe du Carousel, located in the first arrondissement and to the west of the Louvre, Louvre Museum, this arc, designed by the architects Charles Percier and Pierre Fontaine, who later notably created the Château Expiatoire, the Château de Malmaison, and the Great Gallery of the Louvre, and many others, these two architects who built in homage to the large army of Napoleon Bonaparte, celebrating the victory of the French army at Austerlitz. It illustrates this campaign and the surrender of Ulm on October 20th, 1805. The third arc, 
is Port Saint-Denis. For the glory of Louis XIV, the architect François Bondel built in 1672, located between the intersection of the axis of Saint-Denis and the Great Boulevard. The fourth and the last arc is located at the Port Saint-Martin and was erected in 1674 by order of Louis XIV in honor of his victories on the Rhin and in Franche-Comté. Culminating at a height of 18 meters, this arc is located at the crossroads of the Saint-Martin axis and the Grand Boulevard. Anecdotes about the Arc de Triomphe. Although he ordered the construction of the monument, Napoleon I never saw the Arc finished because he died in 1821 almost 15 years ago before its completion. It was in 1836 that it was inaugurated by Louis Philippe. Napoleon had a wooden replica built where he married his wife Marie-Louise in 1808. Isn't that that the French Romanticism? The main material used is limestone from Ile-de-France. The elevator is not present to reach the top floor of the monument, you will have to climb in all its for all 284 very steep steps to reach its top. French aviator Charles Godefroy achieved the feat of flying through the arc to honor the pilots who sacrificed their lives during World War II. And you, do you know of any other anecdotes about the Arc de Triomphe? Please feel free to comment down below. So, have you found it? How many assassination attempts has the Arc de Triomphe undergone? One, two, four or seven? In total, there were a first attempt in 1962 against Charles de Gaulle, a second attempt against Jacques Chirac in 2002. Both protagonists escaped without a scratch. The answer was two. Thank you all for watching this video. Please give me your comments on the ways I can provide you with a more immersive experience in my next videos. Feel free to put a blue thumb and subscribe to this page. Very good day to you and see you soon on this same channel.